Argonne National Laboratory's newly upgraded Advanced Photon Source, or APS, is open again for research. The machine is used in nearly every scientific field, from drugs and medical treatments to advanced battery technology and clean energy. You are driving history-altering innovation right here in our home state of Illinois. The advanced photon source features a ring so large, Wrigley Field in its entirety can fit inside. The technology is complex, but boiled down, the APS uses bright X-rays to see really small things in high resolution, allowing scientists to observe virtually any material at an atomic level. Not only will it shed uh, light on more effective pharmaceuticals and how atoms interact, but also solve some of the biggest mysteries in history. The original APS examined moon rocks, uh, T-Rex bones, and mummies. The director of the upgraded Argonne says the advanced photon source is one of five in the world and is by far the most advanced. The project cost $815 million, the funding coming from the U.S. Department of Energy via taxpayer money. The impact of this facility is just off the charts. And so it's just, frankly, at the end of the day, we are stewards of taxpayer money and we do everything we can using industry and everybody else to deliver on that in the most efficient way possible. Today's ribbon cutting comes a day after the news of $140 million in federal investment for quantum computing research in Illinois. Over the past few years, the General Assembly and I have invested in making Illinois the undisputed global capital for quantum, and Argonne is a critical piece of that vision. More than 5,000 scientists use this machine every single year, and perhaps most notably, Argonne officials say that the technology here has directly led to two Nobel Prizes in chemistry. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.